new to my channel my name is Leslie Ann and I do all types of videos on the channel but today I have been to Primark this obviously is the first time in well over a year that we have been able to go to the shops etc um, and of course my first visit to Primark to be fair I didn't really need anything but you know, you kind of get carried away with the, everyone's going to Primark, I must go to Primark. Um, so we were out anyway, so we didn't do a trip, especially for going to Primark, but we were in the area. Um, there was of course a queue with all the social distancing in place and we queued probably for about 20 minutes, I think. Um, it wasn't that busy in store because of course they only allow people, the amount of people in, according to the people who have just let out of the shop. Um, I'm also going to say right now, I was a bit disappointed. I don't know what I expected. I don't know what I, you know, I didn't go in with anything in mind. Um, however, when you first went into the store, the front of the store, um, sort of halfway down, it looked quite inviting and it looked quite full. But the further you got into the store, the emptier, um, it actually looked. There wasn't an awful lot in there. I mean, yeah, a bit disappointing. But as I say, I didn't really need anything anyway, so I did pick up a few bits that I saw that did catch my eye. So I'll show you what I got. Okay, so I picked up some new masks. This was a pack of two, they were £2.50. Um, Chris is going to have this one, the black one. And it's one of those that it just looks like that but then it's one of those that consultinas out and it's actually very comfy so chris i do love that one and i'm having this one so i'll show you what this one looks like when it's on there you go so actually as you can see it opens quite wide and it actually feels really comfy. So that was £2.50 for those two. Um, I picked up this little scarf. This was reduced from £4 down to £2. And I'm going to see if I can work this so that I can wear this on my head um, at bedtime to stop getting that bed head, you know. Sorry, that's my little dog down the bottom of the garden barking. I mean, it wouldn't be a video if she didn't bark, right? So yeah, it's quite pretty though, isn't it? It's, you know, got all these lovely little summery colours and yeah, I thought I'd give that a go. Chris picked up a pair of jogging bottoms, so I'll just step back. They're like a slate grey colour and they've got an elasticated waist and a drawstring. Um, he doesn't like anything that's tight at the bottom. He likes it to be loose like this. Um, the only problem being is they are always too long for him. He's got short legs. So, because they're not cuffed at the ankle, we are going, or I am going to have to probably cut them off a bit and turn them up. Um, I picked up, I think I got two of these. So these are in the extra large and they're the um these are made by using organic cotton but they're just like little cycle shorts so that's a pair of black cycle shorts there oh they were how much were they two pound fifty i think yeah two pound fifty so i got two of the two of the black ones i mean i'm not going to do a try on with any of this well actually there's a couple of things i will do a try on for but you know leggings and cycle shorts we know what they look like. I um, also picked up this pair in this beautiful sort of rose dusky pink. Um, I just think they're really, really pretty. Again, £2.50. thought they were nice. Just to wear sort of under summer dresses so that you don't get any sort of chafing or anything and you also keep your dignity. Um, then I picked up a pair of Capri pants. These are things that I would pick up 
every single year, every summer, I looked for white ones. I didn't have any in white, um, but these are a staple for me every summer. So although I didn't go in looking for these, I knew that if they had them, I would pick some up. Um, again, £2.50, these are the Capri pants, but these are in navy blue. Again, to wear under a little tunic top or, you know, a little dress or something. Then I picked up a... Oops, sorry about that noise. Picked up these. These are, okay, a pack of three sort of bralettes, I guess. Um, they're in the extra large and it was £10 for three and they are all different. Now you can remove the cups as well. I think it says it on here somewhere. I think it does say it on it, but you can remove these, um, the padding rather, not the cups, the padding. But if you want to keep the padding in for a little bit of dignity, if you're just wearing it with something quite light, like a little t-shirt or something and you don't want to have any of your nipple shown through if you know what I mean then just keep that little padding in um, they are all different but very similar but as you can see there Elsa do you want to play babe so I've just like let me take one off and show you they look super comfortable they have them in black they also had a pack of three like this in I think it was black white and I want to say nude, but they weren't as comfortable looking as this. They were, I mean, these, if you have a look at these, round the bit that's going to be round underneath the bust, so stretchy and so comfortable. You can just see it's got like the ribbing. Um, the other ones were really quite tight and restrictive, so I thought I'll go for these. I'm going for comfort every single time. Oh, there we go. It says removable cups. Um, they do have the adjustable straps as well and then of course inside this is where you can remove your pa um, the little pads from the little pouch here or remove them for washing but I thought they were really nice and I think they're going to be really comfy for summer um, so this one is like a ribbed fabric. The next one, I'm going to take them all off of here now. If I go back again, which obviously I will at some stage, I, if these are really, really comfortable, then I will probably pick up a black pack. Um, I think these two are going to be, yeah, the next two are the same, I think. No, maybe slightly different, but very difficult to tell. So, okay, they've got the adjustable straps again, um, and the pads. But if you, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but if you look up close, it's got like a waffle pattern. I don't know how well that is coming up, coming out on camera but well, they've got like a little waffle pattern and then the last one is completely completely smooth so same concept again nice and comfy really stretchy just a plain fabric with no pattern on it whatsoever but i thought for 10 pounds that's really quite good so looking forward to wearing those picked up two pairs of um shoes well sandals so i picked up this pair now these are in the size small which is what i always go for recently i bought a couple of pairs of flip-flops from pep and co they didn't have small so i bought them in medium and um they are just too big they're like boats on me to be honest these were four pounds and they've got like a little bit of an elevation, like a thicker sole to them. But what I liked about them is they're a tortoise shell here. And they've got the nice little gold sort of stud, little disc here, and then the tortoise shell. I'll try those on in a minute. And then the other pair that I picked up, 
was this pair. I thought they looked really nice. I've got these in a four. Um, they've got the square toe. And they're, they're calling this Oyster. They, they're quite spongy here under the foot. So you've got a nice bit of comfort there. And then, of course, you've got this sort of faux leather here. Um, the bit across the toe isn't what I call, isn't stretchy, isn't really elasticated. The bit round the foot here is. So I think they're going to be really comfortable. And these were £8. There you go. So I'll try those on, but that's everything that I did get. Um, Primark. Um, that came to a total of £44 altogether. Right, a little disclaimer. I might have hairy legs. <laughs> so, pay no attention to the legs, okay? 